Hey everyone, I wanted to show you uh, the solar that I have set up so far. I only have a little bit of it set up. And end of last year, I had to get it done because I thought I'd be further along, so I bought the batteries. Well, you can't leave batteries over the winter without them having at least some sort of charge. They can freeze, and once they freeze, they're done. Just this small bank of batteries, I have eight. I actually made a 48 volt system. That's 2,500 bucks in batteries. So you lose 2,500 bucks over the winter. So I kind of scrambled near the end of the season and got the basic solar in to be able to charge the batteries. So it's not fully functional. And I know, I know people are going, Gary, that's not the code. Those batteries gotta be vented and gotta be boxed. I know, I know, I'm working on that. We're getting to that. We're getting the permits pulled, getting everything done to be able to install the electrical, hopefully in the next four weeks. But I have, uh, I have the inverter in, I have the charge controller in, everything's charging the battery. I have two panels up and that's all that I'm using. I have power in here. It's enough. I have this wi roughly wired in and a light so and I can charge, you know, uh, uh, cordless power tool batteries and stuff like that off it. So it's working. I'm learning a lot about charging batteries and how it all works and equalization and there's a lot more to it than I originally thought, to be honest with you. I thought solar and alternative energy would be a heck of a lot easier. So that is another warning I'll give you. It, there's a little more to it and you're hands-on because you are your own power company. Now, you're not tied to any utility. So if this goes out on you, well, you, you have to fix it or go find someone to fix it. And people who work on solar, it, it's expensive. So you better learn it yourself and at least realize how to maintain it and I'm also going to be using another generator I have my generator that's just gas that I use for working around the property which will work it'll charge the batteries and you can hook it in online or in line with your solar system but I'm gonna have one permanently that is a mobile generator but it's gas and propane as well it will run off both it's a little bigger generator and I'm gonna permanently mount that in here and we'll tie it in to the system so if the batteries go low I can charge them I think there is a way for it to auto start I'm looking into the technology if it exists to run off a, a generator that's used as a, a portable and backup to see if that'll work because your normal backup propane those will kick on but they're like 4500 bucks for a cheap one maybe 3500 if you get a deal then you got to get it installed that's not really in the budget right now so maybe later on I'll do that and so we'll see but I'll definitely let you guys know when we get when I get further along and get everything kind of installed get all the panels up and have you guys take a look and see my off-the-grid power source again you can contact me at contact at primalpowermethod.com make sure to sign up to my YouTube channel and subscribe that way you get updates when I show a new video and uh, update you on my off-the-grid project